Hey guys, I'm Chase and welcome to Moonshot Money. Okay, you want that beautiful leather couch set for your house, but it went on sale and it's marked down 33%. What do you do now? Do you buy it and high five the salesman because you really, really wanted it and you've got an unbelievable deal? Or do you run away like it's on fire? I'm not touching that leather furniture. It's on sale. How to make monster money during corrections and crashes. Let's apply logic to our investing emotions. Are you ready? Let's go. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Russell 2000 have all been in correction territory over the past month. Some of the greatest companies in existence have been down significantly over the past few weeks. But what is it about investing that makes us run away like we're in a horror movie or something? It's crazy hard to watch over a few hours or days profits that you've painstakingly gained over month and months just disappear. It hurts. Ah! I've got to sell all my stocks before I lose everything I have. We've heard this more than once, and it's sad. The same people that sold and took huge losses to protect their money sit and watch with disbelief as the market climbs right back up higher than before. You can't time the market. The truth is, no one can, because it's an unpredictable beast. The smartest people on Wall Street are buying your shares when you're scared out of your mind. Listen to this. You know, take a look at Hilton stock. We're a major shareholder of Hilton. Hilton is the canary in the coal mine. This is an incredibly well-capitalized, amazing, dominant global company that actually doesn't own many hotels. It just collects royalties down from like 120 to 50. Okay, it's going to zero. Okay, along with every other hotel company in the world. You know. Park hotels and resorts. This, you know, stocks down from 33 to four. This is a spinoff from Hilton. Why is it at f down from 33 to four? Because the, every hotel is going to be shut down in the country. Everyone. Hang on. Okay? Just, hang on. Just one second. Um, you say Hilton is going to zero. I mean. Oh, no, again, I'm a, I'm a major shareholder. What I'm saying is, if we allow this to continue the way we allow it to continue, okay, every hotel company in the world, okay, is done, okay, because no business can survive a period of 18 months without revenue. Bill Ackman made a fortune, let me repeat, a fortune, while most people couldn't hit the sell button fast enough. That's how you make monster money during a crash. When everyone thinks the financial world is coming to an end, that's the time to hit the buy button. Not just any stock though, the right stock. Let me use one of the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett's illustrations. If you buy a home today, and a month from now, someone offers you 25% less than you paid for it, do you panic and sell your house immediately thinking the value is going to zero? Of course not. Listen to Mr. Warren Buffett as he explains. If you have a temperament that when others are fearful, you're going to get scared yourself. You know, you are not going to make a lot of money in securities over time in all probability. And that, uh, uh, you know, people really if they didn't look at quotations, but of course the whole world is urging them to look at quotations and more than that, do something based on small changes in quotations. But if you didn't think how much more rational, we've talked about it before, but think how much more rational investing in a farm is than the way many people buy stocks. I mean, they, if you buy a farm, do you get a quote next week? Do you get a quote next month? If you buy an apartment house, do you get a quote next week or month? No, you look at the apartment house or the farm and you say, I expected it to produce so many bushels of soybeans and corn, and if it does that, it meets my expectations. But they buy a stock and they think if it goes up, it's wonderful, and if it goes down, it's bad. We think just the opposite. When it goes down, we love it because we'll buy more, and if it goes up, we can kills us to buy more. The stock market seems to be the only market in existence where people run away when wonderful businesses go on sale. Emotions make us do crazy things. <coughs> We're not saying to mortgage your house here, empty your savings account right now. Never, never, never. But here's what we are telling you. We have been buying over this entire recent downtrend. We have been buying and continue to buy some of the best in-class companies. While some of our high growth stocks have fallen 50 to 75%, Apple has held incredibly firm, dipping only about 10 to 12% over the same period. Is there anything wrong with Apple? 
Nope. But there are many macro happenings like inflation, high fuel prices, war, and supply chain issues which are causing major volatility. We are not selling our growth stocks. Hint, hint. Once we get concrete evidence that the bottom is in, we may begin to buy more shares of those too. Here are some of the largest companies in the world that we have been moving money into. Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, who just announced a 20 for one stock split, Amazon, Tesla, Meta, and Nvidia. All these great companies have dipped due to broader market fears, not, let me repeat, not concerns over long-term confidence. Ding, ding, ding. How do people like Bill Ackman make billions in a crash? They buy great companies when their stock prices are on fire. That's it. After Netflix fell 20% on January 20th, listen to this and learn. Ackman sent a letter to investors in his hedge fund saying that he had bought more than 3.1 million shares of Netflix, the video streaming pioneer. At Netflix's current price of about $390 per share, the purchase gives Ackman a stake worth more than $1 billion and makes him one of Netflix's top 20 shareholders. Do you think Bill will make any money on that purchase? Guess whose shares he just bought? The cheapest thing you can do sometimes is pay attention. We take great comfort in knowing that there will be good times and there will be bad times. When you look at a S&P 500 chart over 90 years, you see all those times right there in black and white. But given time, the market has always risen. This is not investing advice. This is our team documenting our investing journey. We are very confident in most of our stocks reaching new all-time highs sometime down the road. Earn more, save more, invest more, and give much more. Listen, the next thing you need to do is check out one of these great videos right here. Have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video.